Would you like to highlight a comment from YouTube and OBS? I'm going to walk you through the installation and setup in OBS. <laughs> Hi, this is Stephen from The Harvest Is Ready. I hope you all are being empowered by God. Now, today, we are going to learn how we can put, we can flag YouTube comments and put them as an overlay in OBS. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Chrome browser because, a Chrome browser, so because we are going to get a plugin from Chrome Store called Live Chat Overlay. And of course, you're going to need OBS. You should use a separate monitor, but you can do this in a window as well. Um, but it's, yeah, anyway. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to go with the installation. We're going to set up Chrome first. So let's let's go to full screen now. So we're going to create a new live stream. We're just going to make it private. Um, actually, unlisted, doesn't matter what it is. Um, and I'll just run through what we do in the YouTube settings. I'm just using a webcam stream. It can, it's the same thing for a stream or anything like that. So don't worry about that. So I'm just put a testing. This is the title. No. So it's unlisted and we go, uh, make it. Yeah, make it unlisted. That's fine. And then next. Okay. Smile for thumbnail. I'm just doing my outside camera. A nice little camera there view there. Okay, so then I'll go live. Coming live. Three, two, one. We live? Yes, we're live. So we've got the camera there working, just showing a, a live footage of the particular thing. Now we're ready to test the live three. So what we want to do up here, you see these three little dots, the hamburger menu, pop out chat. Okay. Okay. So then we can put it up onto our other screen, make it full screen by pressing f11 okay <coughs> you can see the preview and you can see that accordingly okay so now we can go back to obs okay we are now we can see the preview window up here um and this is just the test information because no one has said anything we can put in a test comment here let's do that now hi I put a test comment you can see it there and then if I click on it my comment gets put up into that lower third down below there can you see can you see that can you see that in here can you see that comment on there yeah so that's what you can see okay now what we need to do now is we want to appear this comment at the screen at the bottom here I want to have it appearing here so what we're going to do is we're going to add another oh another screen capture okay so this is just the preview just so you can see it and we're going to mask it out over here so we're going to add another one in here another window cap <laughs> a video a screen capture i'm going to add existing i'm going to add the small one again and this time i'm going to change the size of it i'm going to alt alt and bring it down to here and then I'm going to go bring that down to that window in here. To whatever position I want it accordingly. And that looks about right there. Now, at the moment now, I can, as people add more comments, like I'll put another one too. It will change there and I can clear it out yeah, see? Okay. Testing. Hi there. So we've got the comment, but we've got a nice black box. So how do we get rid of that? Simple. We go into the filters and we're going to add in a Luma key. So we go, okay. Da da. Close. Done. Okay. So then when we click on the next one, it will change. Okay. Accordingly. Okay, you can see it's doing the same thing over there, but that's okay. So yeah, so that's the basics there. You can also go into the properties of, so if we go into the Chrome, and we go into Chrome, uh, Chrome, 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 Chrome. 
Okay, we've got a Chrome, but our live view still working over there. And we can go into our live chat overlay and go into options. And we can change some of the background options. So we can change the background color, we can change the name color, we can change all of those general things. So we want, we want the background color, the author background color. No, we want the, I want the background border, author border color. I want that to be blue. So I type in blue, or you can use a hex code accordingly. Chat message program. I want, um, I want the author background color to be blue as well. Okay. Go down to the bottom, click save. Okay, close out of that. Let's go back to OBS. <laughs> Let's see what happens when we click on it. Okay, it's not changed yet, has it? So what we're going to do is we've got to reload page. Okay, you see, once it's reloaded, the new color setting has been applied. So there we have it. We ab were able to easily import comments from our live stream. Okay. So anytime you can pop out the comment section on the stuff where you've got a, a, a live preview, this will work for a premiere as well with a live premiere. So you can interact directly at the same time if you're doing a live, yeah. But anyway, for the live stream, it works fine. So you pop it out from the, from the particular channel, you can change the colors and it comes up with a nice, simple way to import the comments into your YouTube video as you're going live. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And always you can follow me on Facebook and Face Social. Until next time, as always, be empowered by God.